Howdy folks, Jamperiki here, and have you heard of Lightyear? Pixar have recently released a trailer for Lightyear, a movie about the Buzz Lightyear astronaut that inspired the toy in the Toy Story films. The hype around this film has made me want to draw attention to Buzz's character arc in the first Toy Story movie, because it's something I've always been very passionate about. A relatable story of imposter syndrome and existential crisis that can teach audiences so much about life. For those of you who have not seen the first Toy Story, it's a film set in a world where toys come to life when kids aren't around. We follow Woody the Cowboy Doll, the leader of the toys owned by a boy called Andy. On Andy's birthday, he gets a brand new toy, a flashy cool action figure called Buzz Lightyear, who actually believes that he's a real space ranger and not a toy, plus mistakes Andy's toys for aliens. Woody is immediately jealous of Buzz's attention from Andy and the other toys. One night, Andy is only allowed to take out one toy with him for a trip to Pizza Planet, so Woody plans to knock Buzz behind the desk to increase his chances of being picked by Andy, but Buzz ends up being pushed out of the window. While Woody is in Andy's car, Buzz suddenly appears. He's safe, but he's very angry at the cowboy and the two break out into a fight. Andy's mum drives off without them, so they take a delivery truck to Pizza Planet to find Andy. However, while at Pizza Planet, Buzz is eager to hop into a prize machine that looks like a rocket. Unfortunately, the sadistic toy abuser Sid decides to play the claw, and wins Woody and Buzz's prizes. Our heroes are now trapped in Sid's terrifying bedroom, unable to escape because of Scud the dog. Woody and Buzz have to get home soon too, because Andy's family's moving day is coming up. To make things worse, Buzz has sunk into a depression after learning that he's not a real space ranger, so he refuses to bother escaping. Before we begin, I want to address something. Some folks have said that it doesn't make sense how Buzz freezes up whenever he's near a child, even though he doesn't believe he's a toy, and just sees Andy as an alien chief. While that is weird, here's my interpretation. I think he stays still around Andy to respect what he thinks is a custom for this alien culture. As for Sid, I reckon he maybe freezes up around him as a survival instinct. I don't know how intentional all these details were on the filmmaker's part, and I'm unsure how strong my theories are, but they're my way around this supposed plot hole. When we first meet Buzz, he's genuinely convinced that he's a space ranger. He's not consciously deluding himself that he isn't a toy, but rather, a toy who naively came into this world automatically thinking that he's a true galactic hero. The fact it's more confusion than arrogance is what makes his character come across as charmingly innocent instead of obnoxious. Buzz Light, your mission log, start at 4072. My ship is run off course en route to Sector 12. Once his guard is down in front of Andy's toys, he adjusts to their culture right away, and is very willing to help each toy in ways that Woody never did. So right from the beginning, Buzz shows promise as a real hero. None of these gestures require a space ranger identity, just a sense of compassion. However, it's his stubborn belief that he's a superhero that leads him to being reckless at times. Like, when Sid is about to blow up a combat call, Buzz is determined to save Carl, and the toys have to pull him back from the window. This means that Buzz's delusions aren't harmless or risk-free, because they could get him hurt and Andy's toys can't humour him forever. This is where Woody comes in. While Woody's neurotic jealousy of Buzz is a deep character flaw of his own, Buzz needs to face the truth about who he really is, and only Woody is willing to wake Buzz up from his dreams. The problem is that none of Woody's rants get through to Buzz. From Buzz's perspective, Woody is the crazy one, because the cowboy's words conflict with Buzz's awareness of the world. You are a toy! You weren't the real Buzz Lightyear, you are a... Oh, you're an action figure! You are a child's... Plaything. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Think about dangerous religious cults. Friends and family can't just tell cult members to leave because they've been brainwashed to believe a different plane of reality, one that makes them feel happy and secure. I'm not saying that Buzz is part of a cult because he's not. He's just a toy who mistook marketing for reality. But his psychology can be compared to that of a cult member. It's the exact same train of thought. Which begs the question, why is Buzz so content with his delusions? Well, he's come into this world with a sense of higher purpose. And this gives him a sense of self-assurance. Right now, poised at the edge of the galaxy, Emperor Zerg has been secretly building a weapon with the destructive capacity to annihilate an entire planet. I alone have information that reveals this weapon's only weakness. When we enter life, everything is uncertain, chaotic, unpredictable, and scary. But Buzz doesn't fear what most are afraid of, because he thinks he's a destined individual that the entire universe depends on. His Space Ranger identity bubble wrap protects him against natural insecurities. When Buzz meets a community of rubber green little aliens who worship an ominous claw, which is really just a prize machine grabber, we can easily juxtapose their delusions against Buzz's. Like Buzz, a chosen alien believes that a greater purpose has been handed to them. 
that they're destined for a perfect life, but their delusion stops them from processing the dangerous reality ahead of them. Even after Buzz meets these like-minded toys, he still doesn't add two and two together, because he sees himself as being different to these aliens. So how do you break someone out of their delusions? You can't just tell them the truth, but you also can't just compare them to someone in the same position. What is the solution then? Well, going back to real life cults, members tend to break the cycle after doing research online, where they often find video evidence that contradicts everything they know. So the solution is usually to show them the truth. In Buzz's case, he stumbles onto an advert for the Buzz Lightyear toy. At first, he mistakes it for a real transmission from Star Command, but as the commercial goes on, the truth rapidly breaks down his entire worldview. Buzz's reaction to this commercial is real and raw. You can see his entire perspective being questioned and challenged in his face. Everything that helped him feel confident and self-assured has been destroyed. There's no longer a cushion between himself and his fears. What follows is a very authentic portrayal of someone losing the identity that they thought they had, as Pixar masterfully explores all five stages of grief. At first, he's angry that this advert would tell him that he's not a space ranger. This denial motivates him to prove his abilities, only for him to face serious consequences. While he accepts that he's a toy now, his grief isn't over yet, because he then resorts to bargaining for a different identity, that of Mrs. Nesbitt. Someone very important at Sid's sister's tea party. However, that just sends him on a mental breakdown, which Woody has to snap him out of. This is followed by a long suffering stage of depression, which pushes Buzz into a void of emptiness. It's a very accurate reflection of real depression. Now, maybe Buzz's stages of grief are in an unexpected order, but it's a common misconception that grief stages are in a specific order. Grief is complicated, wobbly, and sways around emotionally, plus everyone handles it differently. While Buzz is stuck in this depression, we're shown that Sid's mutant experiment toys, which we first perceived as evil, are actually kind souls who live to help other toys. Even though fate has handed them a harsh reality, they still try to be the best toys they can be, and heroes in their own right. It can't be understated how important these characters characters are. They're the perfect antithesis to Buzz's new self-doubt and hopelessness. Though, that's not to say that they inspire Buzz, because they sadly don't. His depression actually goes down an even darker route. You see, Sid attaches a rocket to the Space Ranger toy, with plans to blow him up. At this point, Buzz has reached suicidal feelings, because he doesn't even care about being killed by Sid. He can't see any value in himself or his new reality. This is where Woody, who has been in denial about his jealousy for the whole film, opens up about how intimidating he finds Buzz. Because Buzz has so much appeal as a child's toy. Buzz realises that while he might be a toy, that doesn't mean that he can't be a great toy. He's now found a purpose again, but through his own accord. A destiny he can shape through his relationship with Andy and the other toys. Life's harsh reality might have broken Buzz down, but he can get back up, especially with help from his new best friend Woody. After Woody and the mutant toy scare Sid away, Woody rescues Buzz, but they miss the moving truck. So, with help from Buzz's helmet, they light the rocket and blast off into the sky. In this scene, Buzz can live out his Space Ranger fantasy one last time. A dignified goodbye to his old self. Even when Woody exclaims that Buzz is flying, Buzz quotes Woody from earlier, This isn't flying, this is falling with style. He accepts that life will drag him down as a toy, but he will face these hardships with a newfound confidence. Falling with style. It's a beautiful conclusion to the complex growth of a lovable character. I think what audiences should take away from Buzz's arc is that you shouldn't expect to be handed a purpose as soon as your life begins, or convince yourself that you're inherently more important than others. Instead, you need to discover your uniqueness yourself, and what makes you special doesn't have to be grandiose or spectacular. Simply being a healthy, happy person who cares about others is enough. Deluding yourself that you're superior and invincible compared to the average person won't actually prepare you for the real world's harshness, but embracing who you can be and finding out what you can do will make life's obstacles easier to overcome, because there's no one stronger than someone who genuinely earns their confidence, shapes their own destinies, doesn't give up after failing, and aims to grow as a person every day. That is how you go infinity and beyond. So what do you think of Buzz Lightyear and his arc? Let everyone know in the comment section below and don't forget to click that like button. Also, if you want more film and animation related content from me, then please consider subscribing to my channel. Cheerio, folks. Thank you.